Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're actually just gonna do a review and overview. Um, but first, go ahead and subscribe, um, like the uh, Facebook page and follow the Instagram page. Right, let's go ahead and get into this. So, we're actually doing a, a double, oh well, at least a review of this guy and an overview of this one. Why am I doing it in that order is mainly because this one is one I can, you guys can, I can recommend, you guys can get relatively a hold of relatively easily. Um, this one, not so much. So we'll go ahead and get into that here. Um, first, we'll do some size comparisons. Um, obviously, you can tell this is the um, Marfion Matrix Mini. <laughs> And this is a Marfan Matrix R, or that is a uh, redo or redesign. Uh, redesign is probably a, a better word to use. Uh, so this is a newer um, Marfan Matrix. This is the full sized. Um, this is a one off. So obviously this particular one you cannot get, um, but you can get other ones like it or similar to it. Um, but so these guys, obviously you can tell the difference here. This is gonna be a three inch blade with a three inch cutting edge. This is gonna be a three and three quarter inch blade with a three and three quarter inch cutting edge. Um, they did a very good job with the um, uh, dimensions here to make it so you don't actually lose cutting edge for per blade length. Um, but besides the uh, besides that, let's go ahead and get a good some good size comparisons in here. That way you can get an idea of both. Um, so let's go ahead and get some pretty recognizable blades. Let's go ahead and do like the uh, Shaman here. Obviously you can tell Shaman is a, kind of right in the middle um, of these two um, of overall size. But what's interesting is the Shaman has less cutting edge than either of these. So to keep that in mind. And let's do another well-known, which would be your Hendra XM18 three and a half inch. Again, this one is blade wise exactly in the middle pretty darn close um pretty good darn good comparison there um let's do the 940 here pretty also another really good size comparison this one is a little gonna be a little bit better edge blade ratio it's gonna be pretty much exactly in the middle of these two in that dimension um, and even in the handle dimension these are pretty good tier to kind of get the good size comparison of which one might fit you better like if you like the 940 base on but you want something maybe a little bit smaller boom there you go if you like the 940 but you want something a little bigger here you go that kind of gets you that comparison there um, then we're gonna do a UTX 85 there you go. Um, similar blade length um, and blade and sharpened blade as to the mini over here. Though this is obviously going to be a little bit shorter than the mini and a little bit less cutting edge than the mini. Um, all right. So, and then last but not least is we're going to do a. Strider SNG. This is definitely also another one that's good as a middle sized range. It's three and three and a half inch blade, three inches of cutting edge. Very similar to cutting edge of this right here, but you get a longer blade on this one. Right. Now let's go ahead and get into this one because this is gonna be more of a overview. So this right here is going to be um, two-tone carbon fiber. You get all the lighter carbon fiber 
more white. It's really hard to pick up on camera. You can kind of see it there. And uh, the black, that two-tone blade here. You can tell on these right here that it is uh, darker. It's more of a polish. Where this is a pop -like finish, basically kind of a stone wash, but a little darker um, DLC. Then you got your titanium on this side. And start the difference between the normal matrix or like the original matrix is this right here would be a little bit different. This is now a frame lock rather than a sub frame lock. So you can kind of see that if right there. And they used carbon fiber to be a overlay, so it kind of looks a little better than let's say this cutout right here on this XM18, you don't really see that. Obviously got the logo on the clip. The clip is also two-tone, you can kind of see that. Um, <clears throat> glass breaker is just a glass breaker or pommel strike, depending on how you put it. And one thing I do like about this is it is going to be a good non-lethal option. So if you have it in your pocket, you pull it out, you can obviously use this to deter someone without actually point out the blade and now this would be very good for self-defense type of blade also very good utility blade um you got your backspacer which is one thing i do like about the matrix is, is the fact that their backspacers are very intricate actually the whole entire knife is a level dirt in there but that's because i do carry this um one thing for centering purposes, you gotta really watch because of how the knife sits. It is centered, but you can't really tell that when it's in there because it kind of sits deep into there. Um, but action, very good. Smooth drop shot. More of a hydraulic drop shot, not your, um, what would you call it? Not your uh, guillotine kind of style um so this one right here is also bronze hardware see that there and on the screws all throughout but so this one a lot of people will complain with the matrix in general is this guy when putting it in your pocket what I've discovered is it's actually not all that bad um, because when you put it in your pocket, push against here and here. It's kind of why this deep carry pocket clip, which is a fantastic clip, by the way, um, is the way it is. It sticks out so you can push on here so you're not pushing it here on the actual um, <laughs> the glass breaker, I guess. Um, so you can push here and put it in your pocket without actually like hurting yourself. What's interesting is when this is sitting in the pocket, this kind of pushes into the corner of your pocket. So it's actually, as long as you don't have anything else in your hand, it's really subdued. You're not really gonna see, you're not really gonna brush your hand up against it unless you actually almost like choose to. Um, you more likely to actually like brush against the, uh, lanyard hole or uh, part of the backspacer, which isn't sharp, everything is knocked down. Um, one thing I do have to say is the ergos. Um, they're probably some of the best ergos I've personally felt in a knife, period. Um, I don't wanna say the best but they're they're up there and it's hard at this at this kind of level of ergonomics it's actually hard to tell when something is better or worse um worse like you would have it would be it would be pretty obvious but this is some of the best ergos you can get in a knife another thing i don't quite understand and it's more of a grab of like design where they put the uh jimping um like here, okay, that makes sense. But here, I, mean, I would either put it, I would just almost continue it rather than having two separate spots. That's just a minor, minor gripe. Um, 
Some people don't really care about the hole. You can use the hole. A little bit harder to do on camera. And it does make a really nice, satisfying sound. One thing to keep in mind that it is pretty darn, it's hard to tell, but it's overall very thin behind the edge. This is a slicer. This is one of the best over knives for the slice, for slicing, for using um, this particular one. I would not necessarily use this. One of the few ones that I carry, but don't actually use. Now let's go ahead and go to the mini, which is more of a review because it's one that I will use. It's one that I would recommend someone using. It's one that I recommend as a very good daily carry period. Um, so this right here is actually about five and a half ounces. For the size of blade, that's actually really a really nice size. And the fact that it's carbon fiber and titanium, um, and they're not cutting corners, that's a pretty darn good weight for the size of blade. This right here is actually going to be about two and a half ounces. This is extraordinarily light. Um, this is definitely not one for those who uh, want a larger knife, but if you like also centering pretty darn close. This one may be sl slightly favoring that side, but the good thing is better in this scenario than facing this than favoring this side the reason why is because of the lock pushing against the blade it will not scrape this side where if it's phaser favoring this side the lock can eventually push it and scraping that side so it's less of a problem when it's facing that way you can also fix that pretty easily um, with most knives um, now that's going to be a gripe for a lot of people is hardware. You can obviously get the screwdrivers for these and that's okay. Um, it does suck that you have to actually purchase something to maintain your knives, uh, but they don't keep you from maintaining them. You still can. They're not going to say, no, you can't do that. And they do offer the tool. So there is that. So it, yeah, it does stink, but they don't keep you from actually taking it apart. So there, there is that. Um, this one is again very thin behind the edge. It is a very, very good slicer. Um, no problem with cutting anything with this. Um, it's also pretty relatively thin stock. So it's not super thick. Same with this one over there. This is obviously a little bit thicker because it's a larger one. Um, but overall, this is light. This is also very ergonomic. I wouldn't really want this to be any smaller personally because I can kind of, I can get all my fingers on there. Uh, it's a little tight, but not too tight. Um, so if you have bigger hands than let's say medium hands, you might actually just want to go with the larger one. Uh, you don't have to go with a one-off, but you can get one that is um a run and they will be probably a little bit cheaper so that is also something to look at is the mini here runs about 800 and so that's going to deter a lot of people just by price but if you're looking at knives like this and to begin with and this quality and this um detail 800 isn't actually all that bad considering what you get um the quality and the con construction and the ergonomics and the detail and everything same thing with this pod clip here it is not actually that hard to get in your pocket um this does not actually cause a huge issue unless you actually are used to you do have to have to get used to not if you are one that does like to push here on your knives to push, get them in, you'd have to just twist your fingers a little bit and push it in that way. It is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get past it, it's not a huge 
deal, and I definitely wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. But if you really don't like this, you can take this off and get a screw to actually replace it if you really don't like it. Um, I personally like the look of it, but I also know it is a good deterrent. So if you are in a scenario where you aren't sure what's going to happen, and you, but you don't want to pull out the knife to uh, start something you don't want to actually happen at all, but you want to deter them, you can use this if it does end up turning into a fight or a scenario that you don't want. This will deter them without causing more damage than needed and less likely to end in a more poorly or more poor way than it otherwise could. Um, and again, this is beautiful. I will say, I will admit, this is beautiful carbon fiber. Um, there are a lot of different carbon fibers out there, uh, even like this 940. This has nice carbon fiber, but there is a difference. Even you can see it on the camera, there is a difference between this carbon fiber and this carbon fiber. With quality and look and just, and if you could feel the two, you could feel the difference. Let alone just see the difference. Um, and then, then there's, this is even better than this, but like this is a different price range again. Um, but overall ergonomics look and like ability like this, it has a great cutting performance. I mean, fantastic. Um, obviously these are not great stabbers just because of the way style of the blade. But you're not going to get this style of blade for the stabbing. You're going to get for the slicing, for the cutting, for the opening boxes, for the cutting tape, for those scenarios. Um, and this one actually was worn, if you are curious, in 5-2016. So this isn't a new one. Um, it does, by the way, have great action. You can do just about anything with it. You can obviously flip it. You can use a slidey flick it. Um, you can reverse flick it like that. Then you're ready to go there in that scenario, whatever you use this for. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite overall designs for utility. Um, great blade for use. Um, Obviously, the screws will keep some people from purchasing it, uh, and the price range obviously will too. Um, that's that's kind of an obvious scenario. Um, and this is again, this is definitely if you're if you purchase knives in this price range this is one of the best overall um this one right here is going to be an m390 and this one is also an m390 um so you also get great blade steel for the type of cutting you're going to do with these these are going to be great blades for long cutting um rather than hard use now I will say this one can take could take a beating. Just its construction alone could take whatever you throw at it. Um, not necessarily you're going to, but it can absolutely take it. You obviously have your insert here, steel with or sorry, titanium with a steel insert. Um, this is extraordinary. Again, I if you. Or handling, like, let's say, an XM18, and then someone hands you this. It's going to be noticeably lighter. You're talking, again, like I said, two and a half ounces. Um, and the sound, by the way, does have a very unique sound to it. Um, very few folders that have quite the sound this, this has.
I do find one thing pretty interesting about the locking face. So this one is a little bit dirty. Hold on. Well, that didn't work. So let's actually get. And this one actually gets quite a bit of use. It goes to work with me all the time. Um, but right there. I don't know if you can see that. You see how it, how it little locking right there is? It's very wide. It's the full locking face. Um, where, say an XM18, here you get just that part right there. It's not the whole face. So this has a lot of surface contact with this. It's not just a part of it. It's the whole entire bottom right here, uh, which makes it a lot more secure of a lock. Um, this one actually is locking up around 50%. Um, this one is going to be a lot closer to your 30%. Um, so these are going to be a little bit different. Uh, mainly this one is newer, so that's why it's going to be locking up a little bit earlier. Both are solid, completely safe. But today, that is everything I have for you guys. Um, again, this one right here, you can get one like it. Um, they're going to run you more close to the 13, uh, 1300 dollar range. Um, so that again, will kick a lot of people out of it. But again, if you are wanting a nice folder in that price range, these are some of the best, not just in looks, not just in quality and details, but also in performance. They are fantastic at everyday use. Um, they will do anything that you need them to do and cut it, cut through it like butter. But um, that's going to be it for this video. Please uh, subscribe. Please like the uh, Facebook page and follow Instagram. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. See ya.